After Terra collapse, Cryptoverse flex on Ponzi like assets, role of UAC and Telegram crypto people. It's time for some self reflection in the crypto community after the Sceptolar collapse on the Terra USD stablecoin and the entire Terra ecosystem. A debate about what crypto investing should be like, how crypto projects are promoted and whether Bitcoin only is the best strategy to follow for average investor has however re-emerged in the community. Among the key point of connection in the discussion in the role of the large venture investor has the promoting Terra base is its to real investor, who in many cases causes had seemingly little to do understanding for underlying economic model UST and Luna was based on. It's time to stop promoting Ponzi like acid and blue ships, wrote the crypto trader and economics Alex Kruger. He added the, that there should be no more deceptive marketing and said exchange should do not list Ponzi's ever through high volumes driver's fees. Manuel a Bitcoin proponder and developer said that the shocked him the most about Luna collapse was how many investors didn't understand the dynamic at all. I didn't believe it would improvise right now, but understood the dynamic and what a crash would like if when it does happen, Waitmare said, adding the bank only Bitcoin is the reasonable strategy and it was a recommend to most people. However, West West Weimar noted the in important distinction between recommending Bitcoin only are calling everything else a scam, saying the letter will will make people ignore your advice with and it matter most. Taking the same argument as the future Nick Crazy, another popular Bitcoin promoter and partner is Castle East Island Ventures. Said investor didn't do necessary due diligence on UST because crypto people are mostly completely arrogant of economic and think they are discovering everything for the first time. Carter Future said the few people from from the crypto industry wanted to citizen Terra do a non lunatics being total asset. And since most funds were invested, there was no incentive to piece of colleges. According to Arthur Hayes, <clears throat> the former CAO of Crypto Derivatives Exchange BitMix, at fact, the people were surprised by terror collapse, means they did not properly read the white paper. The lunatic also did question her enough them where that 20% UST yield came from Anchor, has wrote in his list essay. The Anchor protocol was used as a key incentive mechanism for users to hold UST with the highest yields of 20%. The future notes that the only way Luna and UST can survive is, is if there is some genius protocol change Affected to bolster market confidence that the market cap of Luna will always exceed to UST float. UST not workable without BTC mooning. Commenting on Hey Take, the popular crypto trader Dejer Spartan suggests that it should have been obvious that plan to practically back UST with BTC should not work without BTC mooning. He added that the agents that understood how the system worked mining the yields before they go out. Meanwhile, ordinary users or normies through the 20% yield that could be earned by second UST was a miracle from the magic of blockchain. Other also pointed to earlier comments about Terra where the made is clear the project did not appear to have a sustainable economic model behind it. 
Among them was popular Twitter user who described himself as NFT trader and former risk manager to market DAO, was shared a screenshot with four years ago where we said, unless I'm missing something, but project is gonna work. Terra is like the market model. If the only character you could post to create DIU is the Mickey R token itself. The user wrote is 2018 when they said they worked as the research analysts at crypto investment was Scala Capital. Similarly, another user user shared a video interview with Arthur Breitman, a popular thesis community member, where he said, "If you ask me from the financial perspective, does UST make sense?" Absolutely not. The Terra blockchain has once again been restarted by network validator after beginning halter early on Friday for the second time signs to collapse of Terra USD and the network's native Luna token. At the same time, Binance said it has resumed trading in Luna and UST. As the Terra blockchain has resumed <coughs> log production, Terra's Twitter account posted on Friday. It added the network validator have decided to disable on-chain swaps and IBC channels are now closed. An IBC channel is an inter-blockchain communication channel used to bridge different blockchains together. The latest update followed a tweet from the Terra earlier in the day when it said the network has been held. Terra validator have helped the network to come up with a plan to resensitive it. More updates to come. Terra tweet at the time. The announcement of the network held come after the same t- team on Tuesday said the network has been halted to prevent governance attack following server and lunar inflation and the successfully reduced cost of attack. Approximately two hours later, the team tweeted the Terra as resumed block production with a new code match. In total, the network has was been halted and restarted two times after a proposal with emergency action was discussed in Terra community yesterday. The action included a proposal to burn remaining QST in community pool. In update, Binance said it was resumed spot trading for Luna and TUSD against its own Binance USD stablecoin. It added that these points with withdrawals have also opened. The assumption of trading came three hours to Binance CAO changed ZAO. The, the company used protection and they made discussion to suspend Luna and TUSD trading. <laughs>